what's up i'm troubleshoot welcome back to another ai guide in this one i'll be showing you yet another one of my one line install scripts if you find these useful make sure to click the thanks or join button down below these do take some time to create and of course even more to maintain without further ado in this video i'll be showing you how to install and use private gpt this project is really cool it uses local large language models to go ahead and read through documents that you feed it such as word documents powerpoints text files etc and you can basically ask it questions and learn about the different files that you've put in there and it can handle a ton of input it works by ingesting whatever files you throw in there which can take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on how much content you give it and after that you'll be able to question your files and find information really quickly and actually pretty accurately you can use any language model with this as long as it's a ggml model and the auto installer that i've created supports many of them so you don't need to stick to just the one available on the repo so without further ado let's get this installed and see exactly how it works of course you can manually install this or you can follow my one click installer this is open source so if you're curious how it works you'll find a link for that in the description down below hit start type in terminal on windows 11 otherwise powershell on windows 10 right click and run as administrator if you open up terminal just make sure you see powershell otherwise click the drop down and select powershell from here once we're all in the same place type in iex space brackets irm private gpt.tc.ht close brackets and hit enter you'll find this in the description down below when we do so it'll install chocolatey as well as a git and a fast downloader called area 2c as well you won't get this notification here they become area 2 the fast downloader and assuming you have anaconda miniconda or something along those lines installed for managing python you'll get this notification here otherwise it'll check to see if you have the correct python version installed we need 3.10.6 to 3.10.11 if you have anaconda or conda installed you can choose yes to use it here that way it'll keep your python packages and this project's packages separate i'll be choosing yes here so i'll enter y and hit enter it'll go ahead and prepare our environment and shortly after it should download private gpt for me it already exists so it's running git pull to pull the latest version from the github repo then it'll go ahead and install all the required packages do note that if you're running this in a virtual machine without avx support it will likely not install properly as that's a requirement of llama there we go now it's asking us what model would like to download and use the default suggested by the private gpt repo is gpt for all j but we can use any other model here i'd recommend using an uncensored one especially if you're trying to go through documents that could contain things that ChatGPT might not want to talk about. Even the simplest of things can trip up LLMs, so pick whatever you'd like. Because these are CPU models they'll be running using your RAM and processor only, your graphics card will be ignored, so you'll need to make sure that you have enough RAM. In my case, I have a metric ton, so that's not an issue for me, but Vicuna 7B, you're looking at around maybe 4.8 gigabytes of RAM required for this program. Meanwhile, the 13B should be around 9 gigabytes of RAM required, and that should be similar for these other ones here. GPC for all J, I'm not entirely sure, but anyways, you should be able to run this if you have probably 16 gigabytes or more ram in your pc so we'll need to enter a number here in my case i'll be downloading the suggested one gpt for all j 1.3 but you can download a plethora of different models here with my little downloader just note that this is going to be a four or nine gigabyte download so it is going to take some time area 2c is a multi-threaded downloader so it should saturate your line and download as fast as possible which is great if you navigate to wherever you install it if it's the first time you're running it you'll be prompted where you'd like to install it in my case it defaults to ctcht and now we have a private gpt folder inside of here we have private gpt.py which we'll be using to run the project later inside of models we'll have our models that we're currently using my ones downloading here and in the source documents folder we can feed it different text documents word documents etc anything that's sorted whenever we plop files into the source documents folder we'll need to run the ingest program in order to process everything and get it ready for the language model to understand but we'll get there later it'll be a lot simpler than messing around with python files there'll be desktop shortcuts and things of the like created all right there we go the model's down downloading do we want desktop shortcuts i'll say y for yes hit enter and now a desktop shortcut should be created and it'll go ahead and fire up private gpt you'll see on my desktop here's the new private gpt shortcut 
shortcut, we can use it to launch private GPT quickly. And of course, if we'd like to drop extra files in here, we can right click it and choose open file location to be taken straight to where it's installed. You'll now see a few extra files here. We have ingest.bat and run private gpt.bat as well. Using this run private gpt.bat file or the shortcut we've created, we can run private gpt. Whenever you drop extra files and source documents, you'll need to run ingest shortly after. So now that it's started up, it should be working properly and we can query it. However, we haven't actually put anything in the source documents folder and we haven't ingested it. So I'll close this open source documents, and now let's find something to question it about. So we can drop in all of these different files, PDFs included, which is great. We can look at something like white papers for AI. So I'll scroll down. There should be a white paper here. Oh, okay. Let's look at instruction tuning with GPT-4. This seems like a reasonably sized document. I'll download this. And all we need to do is drag it into the source documents folder as such. Now with private GPT closed, we'll head back and run the ingest.bat file. This essentially starts ingest.powershell and ingest.powershell activates our Conda environment if we used Conda and it'll run ingest.py. Okay, so we'll run it and now it'll start processing all of the different documents in that folder. Just note the more that you have, the longer this is going to take and it should only be a few seconds. So depending on the speed of your processor, it'll be done in no time as you saw there. Right, now that we've gone ahead and set it up, we can close that and run private GPT once more using the bat file or the shortcut on our desktop. Now it'll start up, it'll load everything and there we go, it's using roughly four and a half gigabytes of RAM, which is very reasonable. The other models will take quite a bit more. Let's go ahead and ask it, what is instruction tuning? with GPT-4, which is the title of the PDF we gave it, and let's see what kind of answer it gives us. There we go, and now we're getting a response here. This, of course, took quite a lot of time to reach, but now that we have, we've got some information back. So what is instruction tuning with GPT-4? Instruction tuning with GPT-4 is the use of GPT-4 as a teacher for self-instruction tuning in LLM training, and right below this, we have different sources referenced as to how it got to this answer. It'll show you whatever documents it passed, what information it grabbed and used in the solution here. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched across to Vicuña 13b, and this is the response that I'm getting now. To be honest, this is much better put together. So, instruction tuning with GPT-4 is a method for improving the performance of large language models by providing them with a set of instructions to follow. The goal is to use GPT-4 as a teacher for self-instruct tuning, and four data sets are generated using GPT-4, English instruction following data, Chinese instruction following data, GPT-4 generated feedback data, and scrolling up, proxy GPT-4 data, by following the blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we get a much more detailed response that actually provides more information than the GPT for all model, which is interesting. And also it generated a lot faster. I definitely recommend using Vicuña or Koala. Those are both models available in the download. But again, you can run that install command at any time to go ahead and create a new copy. Just make sure to select a different model, choose whether you'd like a desktop shortcut or not. And just after that, it should launch up with the brand new settings selected. So of course, from here, it's really up to you with what you'd like to do with this. It is super powerful, although it is still very early technology. But the fact that we can just search search through documents and put things together from text completely offline is absolutely mind-blowing. Once again, these projects take some time to put together these one-line installers. So if you find them useful, do make sure to click the thanks or join button down below. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!